New at 6, another day at sea for Eyewitness News meteorologist TJ Del Santo as he tags along on Your Eyes Research Vessel Endeavor. Also on board, a group of Rhode Island teachers conducting experiments. TJ spoke with some of those teachers who plan to take what they learn back to the classroom. He joins us now live from on board the Endeavor. TJ? Well, we are much farther out to sea than we were at this time yesterday. We are about 120 miles south of Rhode Island in an area known as Hudson Canyon. The ocean floor more than a mile below this boat. The weather's been pretty good the past couple of days. The waves not so bad, but the amount of science and learning going on, incredible. Another very busy day at sea. Nothing else is in sight except for blue water and a few fish. A little strange for sure. It's also kind of freeing to just look out and just see the ocean. The idea there is you don't want the pressure to push that in while you're deploying it. No distractions here, so there is lots of time for learning. Oh, the bottom, so it sends out an acoustic ping. And as we get closer and closer, the, the sounds will come back faster and faster. We are taking water samples from various depths and we are testing conductivity, uh, light, we're uh, testing temperature. After looking at water samples from more than one mile down in the ocean, the teachers were shown a very simple experiment of water pressure. They decorated styrofoam cups and sent them more than a mile down. We sent it down on the multi-core, which is going down about 2,000 meters. So we're going to see how they decompress when they come back up to the surface. So it was a normal styrofoam cup, and we're going to see how small it gets. And they shrunk a lot to about a third of their original size from the weight of the water above. I think a lot of times our students only see science as some guy in a lab coat and they're not really sure what science is outside of that so it's going to be cool to bring this back to the classroom and show them. Part of science is asking questions and wondering so that's exactly what we've been doing. We've been in the seat of a student. Well, very shortly, we will be heading back toward Rhode Island. We plan on being near the Block Island Wind Farm right around dawn, and we plan on going live from the wind farm tomorrow morning as well. Reporting live from Hudson Canyon, about 120 miles south of Rhode Island, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.